something I want to discuss was Jason Thomas, Travis Preston, teammates at Husqvarna. Fast by Farachi. Mentioned you won a Supercross race. Yeah. Uh, Lance. A L- little lucky. Steve Lampson signed to a big money deal. Lance. Lance. Lance, yeah. I felt like I was lied to when <laughs> I was signed with Fast by Farachi because my, for- my bike was not fast. You got slow by Farachi? I did. Okay. Yeah. So I was thinking, you know, I do these long form stories on Racer X. Y- you're looking at me with a blank stare, but these two guys know. What if we? <laughs> what if we? What if I, my next topic was the what, two year, three years? How long did they go for? They started with Robbie Skaggs, and that would have been. Was that a semi though? That was in 2000. Yep. Was that oh, a full yeah. set? Yeah, yeah. Well, they okay. just used the Duc- the fast yeah. Roger Ducati semi, right. so they just changed the wrap on and, it. And, and and so they went for three years, four years. 2001, 02, and I don't. I think that was it. Yeah. So that I was thinking about that being my next subject of long form. Hey, could, could I get a hold of Ronaldo? I don't know. You need to try because I think he's a great interview. He's got to be getting up there. I mean, right. this is 20 years ago, yeah. almost. So you have no idea where he's at right now. Well, I'm sure he w- still lives in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, where they're based at. I would, I would doubt he left there. Uh, I don't know what my favorite part is. So, uh, Araldo calling Steve Lampson Lance. You guys being sponsored by DKNY yeah. and never getting anything, never. Nothing, not never. one thing. Nothing. Nope. Um, the r- the suspension guy being from the road racing. Yep. Phil, hated dirt bikes. <laughs> and they only, on my bike anyways, they only worked on the front fork because the rear shock was good. <laughs> Just leave it the way it is, and front fork is what we'll focus on. And what shock was that on there? Sax. Sax. And fork? Uh, Marzocchi. Oof. That's a rough So, one. But see, like, I thought Claudio, so Claudio came over from Italy early, like before the season started. Right. And like he tested with us maybe one day. We got 50-millimeter forks. That was a big coup. Right. Back it was then, like, yeah, oh. right, I yeah. mean, and they were actually a lot better. I think the stock ones were 45 millimeters, <laughs> so they were <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not the best. So it was actually better to, when we got the 50s, uh, but then that was it. And Phil knew nothing. He was a road race guy. I'm sure he knew a lot about road yeah. racing. He knew nothing about dirt bikes. He would come <laughs> in, and you'd tell him, like, I feel like their shock's packing, fronts, you know, not picking up in the, like, not coming back fast, to me in the, fast enough in the whoops or whatever, and he's just looking at you like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, like how did how is it in the chicane? Yeah, <laughs> that's the corkscrew. <laughs> they thought that setting up a, a, a road bike is the same as a motocross bike. Yeah. It's, it's no problem, no problem. And he so he hated dirt bike because it was dirty, right? Right. He's, they're used to clean. Yeah, Everything's yeah, yeah. clean, pristine. It's just dirty. The, the He's semi, sweating his the, ass off. The uh, semi uh, looked like a yard sale. Dude. The oh, semi was, looked like a yard totally sale. Was. Well, because you had six riders, yeah. and if I remember correctly, there was no rider lounge. It was just this area. Well, we started with six, and we started started <laughs> peeling them off. <laughs> like my Gavin got fired, then Gossler left, and, and yeah, it was like last man right. standing. I think I was the only rider at Steel City the last. No, I was there. Night. Okay, so yeah, it's, yeah. it was just yeah, me was and you there. then. Yeah, I think there too. Yeah, yeah, was it. But the, 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 on the, to the benefit, you got good money, and they paid. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. I mean, it wasn't like we were. What did Lan- what did Lance make? Three-ish. Oh, yeah. Three hundo? Yeah. Something, what like, you something like that. Uh, 35 or 40. Nothing what was your crazy. seller? Yeah, I think mine was the same. Yeah. 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 Wasn't anything crazy. Uh, did you ride 250 Nationals? I did. I felt like, yeah, 125 yeah. indoors, 250 outdoors. I got, I got 10th or 11th overall. Yeah. 250 Nationals. Right. On the 252 stroke? Yeah. I got 12th. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. pretty good. I also remember when Chiodi came over before... Like he brought his European bike, yeah, and it looked pretty good. Well, <laughs> so then we were all like, snapped, "Oh, the bikes are going to well, be good." We snapped it in half. Remember, they had they brought the back bike back to the truck in a mule, <laughs> in the back <laughs> of a right. mule. That's right. Yeah, Steel City. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, when you look back on it though, uh, Tits wants the it make the power story explanation. Uh, I don't remember that. That was uh, that's I think, German. I think it was Germany. It's Germany, Tits. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Um, My bad. But honestly, like Husky was terrible. Yeah. But it w- I learned a lot. For sure, I learned a lot. Do you, when you guys go over there now to the Roxy, Rockstar Husky truck, do you get sort of welcomed as alumni? Sort of no. brought in? <laughs> just, you know, they like, don't even hey! want to remember. It's I don't like even think them. they know that team existed. Yeah. 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 They act like that never happened. Right. You know what's crazy, though, is like if they would have had the right people there, they had funding. They did. They never, it wasn't ever about money yeah. or not spending or like everything was done. The bonuses, travel expenses, like it was pretty yeah. well run on that end. But 
the equipment wasn't there and the technicians to improve the equipment wasn't there. And you're, you're already starting behind the eight ball from a stock bike and then they didn't have people like, I think there were some fundamental mistakes made because I remember being before the season, Lammy begging Araldo to let Mitch build the bike and Mitch was going to do it. Yeah. And Araldo, you know, pride, I think got in the way. He's like, no, I can do it. I'm Araldo Faraci. And, and yeah, he knows a lot about motorcycles, but not that application. Yeah. And that was just the first bad move of a lot of bad moves, but it's just because lack of experience and it was, it was never about money. It's just one of those things where we were all pretty young. You know, I was 21 and yeah, I mean, definitely made smarter decisions past it, but we wasted a whole year. I mean, he, he got to, Travis got to win a race, which yeah. was awesome. Yeah. But for me, it was a complete waste of a year. <laughs> and then I took a huge step back and then didn't have a ride for the next year. Right. And what do you think? What, you remember, do you remember fondling Travis? Uh, y- for me, yeah, it was just a, it was one of my most challenging years because for me it was make or break. At that yeah. time, we yeah. even knew like we went from Moto Triple X to Husky, right? Yeah, f- yeah. For me, anyways, that that was no, I was at the the D Marini. Oh, D Marini, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had a pretty good salary there and just didn't have good results, so I ended up going to Ferracci, and that was like my last resort. If I don't pull it off this year, I'm probably done racing. <laughs> so I worked really hard that year, and that's how I got the attention of Cliff White at Honda. And Cliff White was the man behind. How did he? How did you catch the attempt just from he winning? He won that, a race. Yeah, winning that no, shitty, I, I, winning a race so on a shitty bike. Cliff, Cliff told me that um, I was. I'd go to Glen Helen by myself every Thursday. I'd show up late, and just do motos, mm-hmm. and just kept never missed yeah. a Thursday. Just kept pounding and pounding and pounding, and he said, "Well, dude, if this kid can ride this bike, yeah, you know." And I guess I didn't complain much then. He's like, "Well, you know, what could he do on, on a bike that yeah. is much better?" That 252 strokes suck. <laughs> yeah. It was. The, the 125 good. was a lot easier. Yeah, it was. And, was and it I really? remember, yeah, 125, yeah, I remember, 125 yeah. I remember Mitch basically just coming to me, and I was like, I'm, I'm a young kid. And I'd come off of 2000 doing pretty well, like made all those main events yeah. and getting like top tens, just me and my dad, right? So I think Mitch was like, felt for me, struggling. And he's like, you know, you're screwed, right? Like your bike is five years behind in development. Like you're starting from so far behind. And then Araldo decided that they were going to do the development. They have no idea what they're yeah. doing, and, and you like, have no you, chance. So, like, Coyote's winning at this time, and guys are doing yeah. well in Europe, but they're not helping. But their not, bike was like Europe completely is completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but than Europe ours. is never stepping in no. to help you guys. No. Like, never. Yeah, no, nothing. We never got anything. Right, I never right, got anything right, or right, no right. parts. We got like one exhaust to try one time, but we needed. Honestly, I think we needed a different frame more than anything else. Like yeah. the frame was just really uh, outdated. When I went to stay at your condo that year in Florida. You had like six swing arms in your garage. Yeah, because you I'm like, broke them. Like, and I'm week. like, what's with these swing arms? Oh, they crack all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I went through like something like thirty swing arms that season. <laughs> God dang! And did they ever break any anywhere? It was just a weld anywhere it bad that like, had a bad. Crack. No, I, I they always replaced them. I, I never like yeah. had an it issue or and nothing, but they were you could see. And it for you in cracking. California, was it hard to get parts and everything from the guys out east there in uh, Pennsylvania? I got it was so long I really can't remember. I I just I, I remember having a lot of issues, random issues, bike would bog or something would go wrong and Did you ever have a my sprocket bolts would come off every time I rode. Yeah. Come loose every yes. time yeah. you had to and it didn't matter bolts. what you yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. They were coming Lock loose. Tight? Oh yeah. No, I mean, it didn't I mean anything. Didn't matter. They were coming just tack weld yeah. the shit <laughs> on there. <laughs> Somebody was telling me, get off the bike. <laughs> Don't ride this bike. <laughs> like just the weirdest like I I, I was racing Red Bud and the, and it was on a 250. Yeah. So I had to jump LaRocco's leap if you wanted to get in the yeah. top 10. Right. So first moto, I jump, and I think I did pretty good. I got top 10. And I'm like, man, Frank, and Frankie Latham was my mechanic yeah. at the time. And what like, a crew of Kiwi, Dave Dye, yep. Frankie. Frankie. Yeah. Dave Dye was on Ferrachi? Oh, yeah. He, he worked for Lance. He worked for really? Lance. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I'm like, man, it's just making like a grinding noise in the motor. Uh, it still has good power, but it's just a lot of engine noise. <laughs> So I remember Frank's, okay, well, I'll, I'll drain the oil and see what it looks like. And I remember Frankie draining the oil, and you just saw metal <laughs> just coming out, just all glistening in the sun, right? And Frankie's scratching his head because, you know, there's no parts. Yeah. So he pops the side cover off, just a can of contact cleaner and an air hose. He's like, man, it looks good, bro. He puts it back together <laughs> and says, here you go. Did it last? <laughs> so first lap, I don't think I jumped LaRocco's leaf. I'm like, fuck it. I got to hit it. So I just prayed every lap, and I hit it, and that oh. bike held together. Wow. So Red Bud, Red Bud was the sixth. That was five and six that was of DNF, my DNFs. DNFs. Five and six. Yeah, Red Bud was the finale. 
You know, so the five, the first five were, and Kiwi should have probably known better, but the vent hose on the tank. Yeah. The one-way check valve. Adapter. Yeah. Yeah. Failed. Yeah. Right? So it was boiling and then vapor lock out the bottom. And I just ran out of gas. Pushing fuel out. Yeah. I ran out of gas. Five motos in a row. And actually, Bud's Creek, wow. I, was, I was in ninth, right? both motos, ninth. And it yeah, Bud's was a good place for you. I would have went 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah. Really good day. The bike was pretty good for that track and ran out, white yeah. flag, both motos. Uh, did they ever put you – they took you to Pennsylvania to test? Yeah. yeah. Damian Plotz, this track. Yeah. We went to this other track called Extreme that was in New Jersey. And, and stuff like that was no problem. Hotels, flights, testing, whatever you want. But it doesn't matter if your bike's a piece of crap. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much you spend – you know, you're never going to compete because they wanted podiums. Like they wanted, like yeah. that's what they expected. And I remember seeing my bonus program and it was top three. And I'm like, I mean, it's great. It's a great thought, but let's just make, let's make it like 10 million for first, <laughs> 5 million for second. <laughs> like, let's at least have fun with this right. because there was no chance in hell. Like, the yeah. Uh, yeah, there was no way. What was the party like for Araldo after you won Houston? Well, I don't even think we went out. Really? Yeah, I don't remember doing anything. I used to see Araldo in a lot of the hotel bars. Now he, yeah, he would. He, oh, he's he, good times. He had Dude, a he, different woman with him every did. weekend. Twenty-five years younger. Every That's weekend. Awesome. Every weekend. Yeah. And he me, did. me and Gossler, I don't know how who started this, but we started asking him for money. Like, oh, Farachi, <laughs> can I borrow a hundred bucks? And he would pull out. He had a fresh wad of hundreds every weekend. <laughs> So me and Craig, hey, can I borrow every weekend? I borrow hundred bucks from. Him. <laughs> hey, can I borrow a Ferrari? Hundred bucks. I'll pay you back. Never pay him back. Oh, no problem. He just starts handing out money. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so he was a nice guy. He was. Yeah, he, he was. was. Yeah. He but was. He was frustrated for sure at the at end of the guys? season. At yeah. Results. Yeah. yeah. But he was a really good dude. Like he was pretty. Ninety-nine percent of the time, cool. I, he like almost killed Kiwi at yep. Mount Morris that year. Right. Um, but yeah, most of the time he was super cool. And even his son, Larry, who was pre- president of Kajiva USA. So they were the importer of Husqvarna, Ducati and MV Augusta. He was a super smart business guy, really nice guy, but they were so far in the deep end and it just, you wonder how that happened. Like Husqvarna just said, Hey, we want to run a motocross team. We're like, well, here's they a were, bunch of money. Well, I think they, Husqvarna saw that they were super successful in one discipline, Yeah, but they were so out of their element yeah. in moto, right? They had no chance. Dude, I thought like, the ever. bikes looked good. Yeah, they were cool. I thought they cool, looked good. Troy Lee gear. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I mean, the whole program was good. There was plenty of money and plenty of everything, but the bikes, I mean, and, and right. I th- it sucked because <clears throat> a couple years later, Racer X did an interview with Geraldo. Like, what happened? Oh, yeah. Where did the team go? Whatever. Yeah. And he kind of buried all the riders. Oh, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm like, I don't think history is going to, serve this article well because you look at travis went on to win a title yeah then lamson, lamson, lamson goes on led the, led the national for, yeah, points right. i went on and did whatever i did like yeah. got better again right. got back on a four stroke and did better gossler went on was podium guy at, on mitch's team yeah. like everybody went their own ways and found success after that yeah. right so yeah. Yeah. he wanted to bury us and make it look like we maybe didn't get the job didn't, done. but yeah <laughs> but yeah we yeah, all yeah. kind of went yeah, on yeah. to do yeah. our yeah. thing you know so I don't know. It was fun. Like I said, I learned a lot. There's so many memories from that stuff, like Chris Gossler pranking everybody all the time and just the dumbest stuff like you've ever seen. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. That was, was a, that was uh, when uh, – so Hangtown, we went to Sacramento. Yeah. A couple weeks or whatever. Whammy – I don't know. if Did you go up there when, like, Whammy got us on the track, like, ride every day before Hangtown? Yeah, I don't remember that. So I, I knew it was me and McGavern – Little goose, whammy, whatever. And we're just motoing and hang time, moto, moto, moto. Well, at the hotel with nothing to do, you know, idle minds, Gossler and Dave died to start pranking each other. And Dave and I shared hotel rooms yeah. a lot because we're Florida guys yeah. and known each other forever. And so it just kept escalating and escalating. And I think Gossler uh, stole all of our toilet parts. So we couldn't use our bathroom anymore in oh, our yeah. hotel. Yeah. So we are we didn't have a bathroom anymore. Yeah. He just stole all the internals out and we had nothing. So Dave to get Goose back, Saturday, Goose rides practice, little Goose rides practice. Yeah. And whatever. So Dave takes his helmet and pisses in his helmet oh, with the God. liner in it, right? Oh, and sets it out and lets it dry overnight. Oh. So then Chris goes out for practice Sunday morning and the piss is dried. So he starts sweating, <laughs> sweating. and it it comes back to life and he just got piss raining oh. down inside his helmet, dude. I thought that Araldo was going to kill Dave. Dye. Oh, really? I, yeah. Oh, dude. He was so pissed. He stole our toilet, toilet parts, bro. 
Yeah, I mean, it was just right. typically that was just like. So one did someone incident. tell Goose, or did he figure? Oh yeah, out? Dave. No, Dave was dying laughing. Oh my Dying God. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I missed these stories because I remember because we had a lot of guys on the team. There yeah. were six riders. I <laughs> there think, was. Yeah. Hang down. There was Who six. were the guys? It was me, Jason, Whammy. McGavern. Yep, McGavern, Whammy. Yeah. Damian Plotz. Yeah. And. That's five. Who would have been the six? Plotz was on the. Th- I don't remember yeah. Plotz being yeah. on the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got uh, hurt or something. He wasn't yeah. there long. Right. God, I, don't even, I can't remember now. Carpenter? No. He's the year before? No. That was, that was yeah. a different year. But for Nationals, I went to a box fan. Oh, you did. So I, I had I, my dad kept my box van from when I was a privateer, so I fired that thing up, and I traveled in the box van and just parked next to the really? semi. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> you missed all the fun. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it was chaos inside. Because Gossler's a mess, <laughs> so his shit's everywhere. Like I needed my own space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had my box van and I parked. And, and Raldo was fine with that. Like, yeah, whatever. he was fine with that. Yeah. yeah, me and Frankie stayed on the East Coast, stayed yeah. in New Jersey, and we and we were close to the factory, so right. we always had parts. Yeah. So. Huh. Yeah. I remember Mike Gossler coming over and just he would talk to Chris and and Chris is just frustrated out of his mind, right? right? He just can't. Mike's factory it. Honda, yeah. yeah. And Mike comes over and he's just like he's just shaking his head at us, like, and we're like, dude, save us, save Do us, something. <laughs> yeah, get us out of here, please send us a lifeline. Uh, the, the, we're just like drowning, like Lord of the Flies in this semi. I do remember the the truck looking like a garage sale, like. <laughs> There's so many, and like your carts weren't very nice looking, like all like you know what I mean. Whatever it was, like whatever the percent. I, th- I think the last race, Steel City, I got off the track, and they literally took my bike into the semi, and my gear bag was outside, and they closed the door. I feel like it was that fast. <laughs> I rode my bike back, got changed, I grabbed a bunch of cases of oil, and I was driving within 20 minutes of the moto. I was driving home. <laughs> cases of oil. So they they were over. I just it. needed oil. Yeah, they had. I saw all this this. <laughs> Golden Spectro or whatever we used. I just grabbed a ton of it and was out of here. Drove my van up, throwed it up. See ya. Oh, that's funny. Good times. And poor Lance. No, Lance not poor struggled. Lance. Lance was making good Oh, money. okay. So yeah. yeah. Hey, well, so one, one last story. Yeah, this no, go it. ahead. So Steel City, yep. same race. First moto, my shock blows. Sax. Oil, 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 yeah, sax. Oil's everywhere, smells. So I pull in, and they go, uh, we don't have an extra shock. So you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so Frankie hops on another bike and starts going into the privateer pits and just asking local, looking for Husky in the parking <laughs> lot somewhere. <laughs> no one has a Husky. Yeah. Then. He finds one guy that has a Husky 250. No way. way. Pulls that shock off of his bike and puts it on my bike for the second moto. <laughs> that shock worked better <laughs> than my shock in the first <laughs> moto when it was working. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, was it, did you remember who did it or anything like that? What do you that? mean? Like revalves or just stock shock? I, I don't think that, I don't <laughs> remember them working on the shock. And I swear to God, Frosty said no. Shock is good. Oh my God. And so yeah, we took a shock from some guy in the parking lot. Should, should we call Frankie about this? Yeah. Will he ahead. remember it? Oh hell yeah. He has. He probably has more stories than I do about. Hold on. Let's let's see if uh, Frankie answers. Uh, I, this is. A I remember getting off that husky. <laughs> And getting on a Honda the next week and being like, "Oh my oh God. dear God, oh, <laughs> hey, that's a good oh one. dear God, oh. Well, so I love dirt bikes again." <laughs> what what I did that year because I the bike was bad, right? Yeah. And I knew it was bad. I did not ride another Same. motorcycle yeah, that I, whole year. I didn't want to punish knew, myself. Yeah, I yeah. knew it would mentally fuck me. So you had I no s- chance coming into the race. I stayed on that husky. Bike. It was like ride my Honda, ride my Yamaha. I said, "Nope, I'm sticking. I have to ride this husky. I'm going to yeah. ride it the whole yeah, time." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see if you can call Frankie Tits. I just. I did ride rubber. one bike. Did you get it? I rode Timmy's three speed four twenty six. Oh. And I'm like, this is what I'm up against. What just let's just stay home. Wow. Let's just let's just stay home. We have no I have no chance. Like, cause feeling a four twenty six factory like torque oh, and boy. everything on the starts, and you're just like, I, I this is Yeah, especially remember the yeah, four strokes are coming in now. Right. Like not even so, it's so you, your bike's not as good as other two strokes. Yeah. And then you have four strokes yeah. that are coming yeah. in. It was like full works, <laughs> three speed, yeah. like yeah. so much torque, so easy to ride. Like you just put a one gear and be done. Yeah, especially yeah. with three uh, gears. And then never getting any uh DK and Y stuff. Massive sponsor on the shroud. So <laughs> supposedly supposedly Araldo was friends with Donna Karen's husband. Okay. And I don't know if yeah. money was paid or what, but we were always like, Yeah, can we get stuff? Can we get Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I talked to the guy. I talked to the <laughs> guy. And nothing. <laughs> just nothing. And then didn't you have a story too about in Pennsylvania a guy was crossing the parking lot? Oh yeah. So their their race shop is right downtown, right? And it's they're they're a motorcycle importer, so they sell to 
all the Husqvarna, Ducati, MV Augusta dealers nationwide, right? So pretty big warehouse of motorcycles and what you would think. And then they had the race shop there too. But like it's downtown in the city will grow, which is like a suburb of Philadelphia. So when we were at the race shop after testing or whatever, there's not much to do. Like you're just kind of hanging out at the race shop before you go to the hotel and you're sick of being at the hotel. So we were generally like dicking around with all the works Ducatis because they have all that stuff still there. So there's yeah. a lot of cool stuff to look at. One day we're there and this guy is cutting and he's, I don't know if he's homeless or vagrant yeah. or whatever. We could tell he di- had no business cutting across their business parking lot. And Araldo is standing like in the opening tunnel of the warehouse and he's like, Hey, get off, get off the property, like out of here. And he says probably something much worse than that. Yeah. And the guy like flips him off. Araldo's like, yeah, you hear him yell something, walks inside, comes back out, waving a pistol, like, <laughs> hey, man, you're just cussing at him, and dude just fucking takes off <laughs> sp- sprinting out of there. You're just like, oh, my God. But Araldo's like old school Italian, like, yeah. mafioso dude. Like, yeah. you didn't want to cross this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah. So I, I heard it's a story when Araldo, I think, I think it was, and I could be screwing the story, but I think one of Araldo's sons – passed away okay and i was told by one of the guys that worked there that when had his funeral i think he passed away on a street bike at his son's funeral there was like this whole procession of people that they had never seen before from like old school italian with like you're like Mm -hmm. gnarly mafioso people had come over from italy for this funeral and there's like Nobody do anything stupid. Like a lot of people you did not want to mess with and they never <laughs> saw them ever again. <laughs> Left and they were just there for the funeral to yeah, pay their yeah. respects and were gone. Jeez. Yeah. Crazy. Good times. I, I always wondered where he got his money from. Um, you didn't why didn't you like the Diodora boots? They're just no good. Oh yeah, the fit was terrible. They weren't good. Yeah, that blisters. I, I couldn't I couldn't feel the shifter. It, yeah. they were very uncomfortable <laughs> to wear. <laughs> they were probably me knowing the business side now, they're probably like uh Two hundred dollar less boot, you know, like yeah, an entry yeah, level yeah, type yeah, not, quality. They right, right. We had no business wearing those T- things. And in like, Supercross. But I saw that TLD stuff did look good. Yeah, like yeah, all we, that, like, yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was a good setup as far as graphics and the gear, but the the boots were were not good. He texted Frankie, but no answer, so that's too bad. Never been good. He might be with that. Will. Yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah. Words out. Uh all right. Um, voicemails. We got some voicemails. Seven zero two five eight six seven or anything else. Any other Husky stories? Did I miss any? No. Swing arms and boots. You yeah, should do. You should do a, a long form. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You really should, right? Because you think about all the people that were involved, like from Gosselers to us to Frankies to. That, I mean, there are so many that, people. Dave dies and Lamsons and. I gotta get hold of Dave Die. Yeah, that's, so, that's easy. Good luck with that. For, so the one thing is, we w- when we were traveling, we only had money for one hotel room. So me and Frankie had to sleep together. Yeah. So he would, s- Frank would snore so bad that he ended up sleeping in the hotel lobby. So literally every <laughs> <laughs> every weekend, Frankie would sleep in the hotel lobby. Stop it! I swear to God, <laughs> I would swear he'd get blankets and, and go down the hotel lobby. Nobody would say anything. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, he does. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> That's how bad he snores. Wow. Um, think about Mitch. Like Mitch has so many stories from that. Oh, yeah. Because we were running Pro Circuit Exhaust. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, good times. I was, I stand by the fact that I, th- I thought the bikes looked pretty cool. They did look good. It. I liked it, too. Yeah, yeah. I still yeah. see photos today, and, and they still look good. Yeah. Well, yeah. we, I think we all got kind of hoodwinked. Like, it looked good from the outside. Yeah. What we should have done, and, and I remember I had a contract with Blackfoot Honda, and it was good money and good bonuses. I would have had to race in Canada in the summer, though, and I should have taken that deal. Jason Mitchell from Blackfoot telling me, test the bike before you sign it uh, do whatever you want yeah you know but i was a 20 year old kid yeah. he's like you need to ride the bike and then make your decision because the blackfoot bike was so so good <laughs> tom yeah. morgan honda like it was yeah probably the best bike i had ridden in my life and yeah then listen stupid kid what year was that 2001 okay uh all right 